Hey y'all, in today's video, I am doing a little pre-fall lookbook for you. Fall is almost here. I'm not gonna lie, fall is definitely my preferred, it's my preferred season when it comes to dressing up. I live in LA, summer is hot, summer is hot. And if you live somewhere hotter, you already know the vibes. It's really hard to dress in the summer when you're just sweaty and hot. So whenever the weather starts to cool down just a bit, I'm always just like, finally, Yes, the one qualm about fall is that the time difference. But anyway, but before we get into that, hello, hello, my name is Shayi and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, I share fashion styling videos, fashion hauls, along with some beauty and life tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So the first look is definitely one of my favorites, but now I'm thinking I feel like most of the looks, if not all, are all my favorites to be honest <laughs> i mean maybe i'm a little biased maybe i'm a little biased but this look for sure is one that i've already worn and it's these low-rise jeans with this sort of sheer top and these pointed toe sandals the low-rise jeans and the sheer top are both from amber crombie amber crombie has had me in a chokehold for a little while now amber crombie jeans truly are the truth right now i mean they are solid pairs of jeans for a decent price and this is definitely one of them it's their 90s low-rise baggy honestly i love these i feel like i mentioned at one point in one video that low-rise was making its comeback low-rise was making its comeback low-rise was making its comeback and i know not everybody's for it which is totally fair me personally i've actually never really wore low-rise when it was even in so I'm thinking of this now as me taking advantage of the time. I have a short torso and long legs, so I do feel like low rise allows my torso to look a little bit more extended versus high rise. Don't get me wrong, I still love a pair of high rise jeans, but um, when it comes to lengthening my torso, low rise definitely tends to do that better. But yeah, this is look number one, and I also paired it with my favorite bag that has been my favorite bag for the last couple months and my Brandon Blackwood the sparkly crystal seal bag, obsessed with this bag. I want the blue, but it hasn't come back in stock. I don't know if he's ever restocking it, so I guess we'll see. For the second look, I kept the top half the same and I just switched out the bottom half. So I went with another pair of Amber Crombie jeans. These are like their crisscross slim leg style jean in this washed black. I don't have a pair of jeans like this. I do have some black jeans, but not in this particular shade of black. There are different shades of black. In case you didn't know, there are different shades of black and also not this sort of high rise and slim leg. Again, just something I wanted to add to my closet and I felt like because this look was pretty black, because it is, so I paired it with white sandals and this white bag. The white sandals are from Amazon, honestly, came through with the sandals, they are Bottega dupes and then the white bag is from Express. Jean outfits, honestly, are my favorites. Ugh, you already know the vibes, I say it on the channel all the time, but jean outfits are definitely some of my favorites. And then again, I kept the top half the same. I'm trying to show y'all that you can have versatility with outfits without having a whole bunch of different pieces. Like you can transition your closet in a way where you can slowly add different pieces or slowly incorporate different elements without necessarily revamping your whole wardrobe every single season is definitely not necessary. But I kept the top half of this the same and then I switched out the bottom half for one of my favorite skirts, surprisingly from Zara. It's this sort of split situation skirt in this cream color. I love it. Again, it is more on the low rise, like mid to low rise side, which again, I definitely prefer. It elongates my torso. And then I paired it with those same heels that I wore in the first look, the pointy toed ones. I honestly do not remember where I got these heels from y'all. I wish I could remember, but I've had them for so long. And then for the bag, I went with one of my favorites that I picked up last year and it is from a brand called Giorite. So it's a houndstooth bag that has this gold kind of brassy gold detailing i personally love i think it works perfectly for this look because houndstooth definitely is fall this is how i would sort of transition it as the weather got a little colder for the fourth look i kept the bottom the same i kept with the slip skirt and then i just switched out my top half so i went with this nakd crop top tank situation that i've had since last summer just something that is easy to throw on and works really well as a layered piece. So I layered it with my H&M black blazer. I'm actually wearing it, wearing it right now. This blazer is one of those blazers that is not necessarily like a, like a super structured blazer, which I definitely prefer. It has more of a flow to it. And I think that pairs nicely with the flow of this skirt. And especially if I'm going for a more relaxed vibe versus like a structured blazer. And then I paired it with these shoe wrap up sandals that I've had. It's just one of those pairs of heels that 
that's probably gonna stay in my closet for a while because whenever I bring it out, I'm always just like, ah, yeah. I remember why I decided to keep these. Mm -hmm. For look number five, kept the top half the same, but I brought back the low rise jeans because I just felt low rise jeans with a blazer is a look. It's a look, it's a look. You really can't go wrong with it. But I did want to add a pop of color. So I went for these Vince Camuto Hill sandals. I talked about it in other videos, one of my pickups from early summer. It's just this green has had a chokehold on me. I don't think it's really going anywhere anytime soon, but because this look is very, very neutral, I just felt like a pop of color. And then I added my Coach Tabby, my Coach Mini Tabby, one of my favorite purchases ever. I can say that with extreme confidence. This is literally one of my favorite purchases ever. I'm like convincing everybody, like get the Tabby, you'll love it, you will not regret it. But yeah, this is look number five. We'll definitely be worn very, very soon. All right, so look number six. We scrapped everything that I was wearing previously and we have a completely new outfit with completely new pieces. We have this amber crombie pleated top, a really good colored cream. The pleats, the plisse detailing is just, it feels good against the skin. It's lightweight, it flows just nicely on the silhouette of my body. I like it, I like it a lot. And then the skirt is from a brand called Unsubscribe, 100% silk skirt and we all know silk is definitely not cheap but it's one of my favorites. I love this color. This is definitely, again, I like green in general, but this particular shade of green is something that I actually have around my apartment. So that's how I know that I really just like it as like a color on its own. Beautiful, beautiful sage colored green. And then I paired it with these express sandals that I also um, got when I did a collaboration with them, but honestly has been a recent favorite that I've been wearing pretty frequently. And then I paired it with this express white bag. Once again, I just felt like the look is pretty neutral. So a white bag really wasn't gonna change the look too much. And I thought that it paired pretty nicely. Look number seven, I feel like this is a true pre-fall look because I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts, so I kept the Amber Crombie Plisse pleated top, but then I swapped in these J. Crew shorts that I've picked up like a couple months ago, probably like early summer, early to mid summer. It's given Coastal Grandma. This look is definitely given like I have like a countryside in or like I have a beachside home, you know, manifesting that, amen, amen, but yeah. Very comfortable, no heels for this look, went with sandals. These sandals are in kind of old buy from Zara. And then I brought back that Giori tape bag, the houndstooth one that you saw in one of the earlier looks. And then finally look number eight, which again, I think is a quintessential pre-fall outfit is pairing shorts with a blazer. Now this blazer is from H&M. It's like mini houndstooth print. It is slightly oversized, which I do prefer as well, especially if I'm wearing shorts. I think that it kind of has a nice objective position to it because shorts are just so short and these shorts are definitely kind of shorter. They are from Amber Crombie as well from their Curve Love line. Also paired it with this uh, bustier that's also from Amber Crombie. <laughs> I brought back the coach bag and then my New Balance sneakers that I have been wearing these out to the point where I'm like, how do you clean these? How do you clean New Balances, y'all? Because I don't wanna ruin them. I definitely don't wanna ruin them, but I do need them to get clean because I've been wearing them pretty frequently. It's almost like, okay, okay, girl, we get it. You like the, you like the shoes, but you know. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration as we sort of transition from summer into fall. And, and announcement, 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 kind of, sort of, well, yeah, it's an announcement. I will be going to New York Fashion Week, my first time ever at New York Fashion Week. I am very excited for the looks. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna front. I'm excited to put the looks together. I've already started putting looks together. So I'm hoping that I can either do a lookbook featuring all my looks before I go or somehow get like, you know, content while I'm out there. I almost feel like I may need to just shoot the looks be here before I go. So I'll likely probably do like a what I'm wearing to New York Fashion Week or what I wore to New York Fashion Week, depending on when it can be uploaded. Not really too sure what to expect. Um, I know I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be tired, but that's okay. You know, baby's first fashion week. We're excited over here. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see, if you like me, then go ahead and subscribe. And as always, I will catch y'all in my next video. Until next time, bye.